Hi, this is Sean. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the Sun Position plugin in Unreal and talk about how to set up specific geographic locations and time of year for modifying or getting specific results for an external lighting setup. Okay, so these are the steps that I'm going to go over. I'm going to talk about how to activate the plugin. I'll talk about how to get specific latitude and longitudes that you can also save as well as setting your time zone parameters. Then I will also talk about the updated workflow for the animated day-night cycle. Finally, we'll talk about some of the impacts of color curves and other parameters that you have access to in the SkySphere blueprint. Okay, so let's do this. Here we are in a scene. We need to first activate the plugin, so go under Settings, Plugins, then under built-in, type sun, and you'll see the sun position calculator. Turn that on, and you'll need to restart your Unreal level. Once that's done, then you can right-click and create a new blueprint class. Click, well, you can just search for sun, and then this will allow you to select and create a new actor for, I just called it BP Sun Position. Okay, so once you've done that, then you can drag that into your scene and it will automatically connect to your sky sphere and also your light source, which is nice. And what does that allow you to do? Well, it gives you a bunch of parameters. So if you select it, you can type in a different time of day. So right now I've got it set to 1600 hours, but what if I set it to 11 o'clock in the morning or maybe right around midnight? So you can see that it's changing the position of the sun and also the direction of the light. So in addition to that, you can probably, you'll want to go into, if you haven't done this before, um, under your project settings, under rendering, I generally would like to turn off auto exposure. There's other different tweaks you can modify, but that's a that's a key one. Um, otherwise, your eye is going to keep, it's going to look a lot brighter inconsistently. So next, we're going to talk about how to get latitude and longitude. If you go to maps.google.com, you can get latitude and longitude, but I really like also this mymaps.google.com. You can create maps that are savable and then you can you can do a lot of like google has a really useful api for modifying these maps you can embed these maps and you can also save them so that you can use them later so for example um i just created this for this tutorial but you've got this like here's the latitude and longitude for new york grand canyon san francisco so um, since i'm in new york state i used New York State, latitude and longitude, and what else? You are also asked in the parameters for your time zone. So here's a world times uh, server, and I'm in North America in the eastern time zone, and so that's UTC minus four. So let's go back and you can see here's the time zone, so that's minus four. You can even specify daylight savings time. Okay, so finally, let's rapidly go over the day-night cycle animated and also how to modify some of the parameters in the SkySphere blueprint. Let's just show that first. So if we set this to, let's go back and set this to about 11 a.m. So you can see the sun. What if we wanted the sun to appear bigger in our scene? Well, we could select the sky sphere blueprint and then hit control B as in boy, and that will show the sky sphere blueprint. And there's the color curves that you, so you can modify, modify what color the sky is at different times of day. And then you also have access to the um, the material. 
So if you click on the material, you can modify. Some of the parameters are always going to be available to you in the blueprint, like the cloud speed and the cloud opacity. Um, there's a few other ones, like the sun's, the sun's size. You can go in and you know, make the sun bigger if you want. That should make it bigger. Ah, there it is. Bigger and you can modify the, the sun brightness as well. We can also make this animated. So the original workflow for the old sun system was that you'd select the light source and update the sun direction. The, it's, it's a pretty similar workflow for the new one, just a little bit different. So um, on begin play, you're going to want to get all actors of class, sun position, and then uh, right click and promote to a variable. I called this variable BP sun position actor. Then I made a new timeline and the timeline I set for from 0 to uh, 1440. That's how many um, minutes there are in a day. And so, and over 24 seconds, that so just made the math easy for me. So I dropped the, the variable down and then I just did a little bit of math. I divided by 60. So that gave me the hours. And then I multiplied um, the this times 60 and subtracted it times the base. And that gave me my minutes. And then you have to update. So drag off here, add an update sun parameter. And that should do it. We should be, you want to turn on auto play and loop. So now if we hit play, we should see. And here comes the sun. Nice. So you could do an advanced version of this animated parameters and even have it cycle through like a whole year if you wanted by doing additional math to that um, to that blueprint where it would actually change. You could go in and change the uh, month, right? And the day of the year, you could actually cycle through, uh, have the sun go through the whole, a whole um, annual cycle. All right. Well, I guess finally, I already talked about the curves, but I mean, you can sort of go in, why is the sky blue? It just talks about the um, why the sky changes color based on um, the the light angle coming through and in terms of like how it dissipates the more uh, blue or less blue depending on the angle of the sun. So if you've ever wondered, anyways, I'll, I'll post a link to this doc so you can um, go in and have these links. But that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks so much for watching.